this futuristic looking school in Whitley Bay in the northeast of England is like no other in the country. Spacious and airy, Monk Seton High School is attracting worldwide attention for the way it uses natural daylight to help learning. It makes me feel more energetic and alive more. And it doesn't make us feel bored in class and stuff. It uh, keeps me awake and it's nice and colourful. And it's these roof lights which help to flood this vast space with daylight. Designed and fitted by Extra Light, each pane is filled with this substance, nanogel. Developed for NASA, Extra Light is the only roof light manufacturer in the country to use this high tech material. Injected between sheets of polycarbonate, the nanogel diffuses light, insulates, absorbs sound, and stops glare. We've actually managed to get quality natural daylight to penetrate right across the whole of the school. I mean, the span itself is 64 metres in one direction, it's 19 metres high, and it's 123 metres in the other direction. Uh, this is really a, a very, very good product and it fits well with the sort of aspirations that we want to uh, sort of get to, to meet the need of the staff. Very few ceilings have been installed between its three floors, allowing daylight to filter through the building, all the way down to the sports hall. There are no shadows or bright spots to blind you. This is the first building in the world to have worked on light technology that brings natural daylight into the roof at this kind of level. Nanogel means that the students have an opportunity to be healthier, happier and learn better. It's very green. In this particular installation, the size of the roof lights coupled with automatic lighting control means that the artificial lights are dimmed as the daylight improves through the roof light. We get maximum energy savings. Extra Light uses the latest technology and design. Its experienced staff help the architect meet all kind of design demands, no matter how complex. Projects range from bespoke structural glazing, such as St James's Park Stadium, to the simple reglazing of hospitals and schools. We've done lots of schools. Um, one typical example, and the first one we did was a, a small glazing area which joined two parts of the school together. Now, originally the architect put glass on there and in the summer the kids got very hot and in the winter they got very cold. So that room ended up a storeroom and we changed it for nanogel and now it's used all the year round. Most people remember their school as dark, not really very pleasant. I remember the last school like that and this is anything but that. It's light, it's airy, it's the best working environment I've ever worked in.